here we go. Doing another job on a gravity fed system, replacing a load of lock shield valves with TRVs. So we're going to stick the hose on it, start getting it drained down, turn off the water, and whilst the water's off, we're going to go upstairs and we're going to put in an isolation valve leading up to the header tank. Reason being, don't have one on there so that we can turn the valve off and then we can turn on the stop tap so the customer can use our toilets and most importantly, fill up the kettle. So now that we've done that, we can open up all of the vents on the radiators, let some air in so that the water can go out without being airlocked. And we're just gonna do some prep. So I'm replacing 15 radiator valves. So 15 times two, uh, 30. And so I wanted to PTFE up 30 tails. Lovely. So now that's all done. I've got the jobbing bag out, which is just bag that I can carry around with me nice and light rather than carrying everything I can just carry exactly what I need so we're going to start by loosening off the valves now that the system is all drained down putting under a waterproof dust sheet and a plum tub that's what that blue thing is called a plum tub there is a link at the bottom if you want to check it out there's also a deal two plum tubs so one free each of the radiator for 15 quid now, whoever put these on, probably in the 70s, must have been a gorilla. It was probably a gorilla. It wasn't a human being. Because these nuts were so stupidly tight, it was a real pain to get off. But, I must admit, I am feeling it after today. 30 valves, and my arms are like lead. So now that I've removed everything, we're just going to be replacing everything. So... Replace the tail going in, so it's all nice and chrome rather than the brass. Uh, had to be done. And then we're going to put the new TRVs on. And also on the other side, these Brotman kits, the lock shields as well. Now, there are a couple like this where there is nothing I can do to put a new valve on there without replacing the pipework. Because the Gorilla had way over tightened them. And it's worse to over tighten pipes than it is to not tighten them up enough have a little leak just tighten them up crank crank them up to however to seal now if you over tighten them you end up busting the pipe and then you're just in a world of trouble so now that all the 30 valves are on as you can see one two don't worry about that it's just where it leaked through the uh, dust sheet so it's not black and horrible and i'll uh, give them make sure it's all clean there you go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or oh, lot of radiators, 15 radiators. So they're all done, and come back tomorrow when I'm going to be filling and venting.